But listen, the man has a vast catalog. I mean, from the time he was, what, 14, 15 years old? Probably man, younger than that at Motown. He owned the 70s. Oh, yeah, absolutely. He owned, do you know the story of... Um, now we're going to go on a little tangent with... Uh, uh, Paul Simon here. Okay. Do you know the story about Paul Simon's Graceland album? No. So he won album of the year for that, and okay. that was between, uh, I think it was between Songs of the Key of Life and Inner Vision. Okay. Right? It was the one year that Stevie took off. Sure. And in his acceptance speech, Paul Simon went on stage and said, thank you to Stevie Wonder for taking a year off so I can win album of the year <laughs> as well. Wow. He owned the 70s. Stevie Wonder owned the 70s. Oh I God. mean, you know, uh, Inner Visions, yeah. end to end, yeah. you know, I have it on LP, uh, Songs in the Kid Life, I also have that on LP. Yeah. You can listen at end to end, you don't have to skip anything, no, you know, no, no. it's, it's. I mean, it's gold. He's up there, you yes. know, like, he's yes. up there. Mm -hmm. He's up in the level, uh, like, with Prince, basically, as, as a musician. He can play everything.